Ex-Brexit party and UKIP leader Nigel Farage, who was famously debanked by Coots over his political views has voiced his deep concerns about a cashless society earlier this month. Plans to introduce a digital euro throughout the Eurozone Monetary Union a f asterisk asterisking trap and the perfect tool for surveillance, a controversial German financial writer has claimed. The European Central Bank, based in Frankfurt, is hoping to make the embryonic concept, whereby cash would be stored on smartphones, as opposed to in wallets or on credit cards, a reality by 2026. A survey published by the European Union's Eurobarometer research website earlier this year suggests just a third of people living within the 20 Eurozone countries haven't even heard of the concept, let alone understand what it is. And Mark Friedrich, author of books including The Biggest Crash of All Time, is vehemently opposed to the idea, outlining his criticisms in a series of videos on YouTube which have amassed 350,000 subscribers. He told Politico, it's a f asterisk asterisk king trap. They'll say, hey, it's easier, it's tidier, you don't have to put your fingers on these dirty notes and you don't get COVID virus or something like that. A robber can't steal your money anymore, but you can have a chip under your skin. It's the perfect tool for surveillance and a digital dictatorship. He continued, I hope there is no plan but for me it makes no sense to create a digital euro unless you want to control people. When my grandfather was dying I asked him everything about Nazi Germany. I know how it happens. There is no suggestion the ECB, led by President Christine Lagarde, has any plan to place microchips under the skin of anyone, but others also have concerns. Jörg Methuen, an MEP and a member of the German Centre Party believes, government surveillance and the cashless society, is the ECB's, final aim. He added, I'm deeply worried that the project of the digital euro is not only a project to develop a useful additional instrument of future payments, but that the real intention is the start of replacing any kind of cash payments.